Welcome to the Spirit of Life channel this message begin right now. The Creator is calling your name greetings. And welcome. My beautiful beings of light. Your smile when you open this message reaches through the veil. Oh. You have been expected within this moment and now. You are weary and tired and it shows in your essence my beloveds. Perhaps some tender loving care within this message can return the sparkle to your etheric shine. Allow this messenger to encircle you and give you an etheric cyber hug. The Creator's love wave flows through this hug to every particle that is you and all that you are within various levels dimensions and aspects. Be still and allow the love to enfold you and embrace your fatigued spirit. If tears of frustration feel appropriate just let them flow. You are like a pot on the stove my beloveds that is very close to boiling over. Take a deep breath and see yourself calming as you release the excess fear and frustrations that you've experienced since the last message gathering. The earth plane is becoming more and more complex as various scenarios are the major focus whether it is gasoline, the atmospheric warming, or the economy, whatever, rest here my beloved, rest here. Take these moments to replenish your soul. You stood in line my divine beings of grace to incarnate during this time on the earth plane. You were excited when the Creator called your name and handed you the signed approved contractual agreement that the two of you prepared for this role. You acknowledged that you knew this would be a very pivotal time with many trying circumstances to surmount but you wanted to come anyway. You knew you had an opportunity to make a difference and bring in some fresh air, if you will, to this embellished chaos. The Creator reminded you as you picked up the copy of your approved and signed contract, that if you were pulled into a situation that you felt like you just couldn't take it anymore to call upon your angels and release the moments and worries to the Creator for resolution. Every time my heavenly light beings that you pick up a newspaper, turn on the TV news or just become overwhelmed with all that is being heaped upon your plate, so to speak, this is a reminder from the Creator to call home, if you will and release the concerns to the Creator and your angels to handle. With the overpowering incidences you are involved in, reading or observing, the constant turmoil or job loss, the economic blowouts, the concerns about just breathing from one moment to the next are all about the Creator tapping you on the shoulder to get your attention. The Creator is calling your name to remind you that you are here for a very specific purpose. The Creator is telling you that you stood in line to be here. You are here to hold the light steady my beautiful beings of light. You are here to beam you light beacons into every dark spot. You are here to help humanity and all the matter and particles of matter that make up this earth plane and its atmosphere to look deeply within itself and find the Creator's grace that is within all things. The darkness is no longer acceptable and you my beloveds are the cog in the wheel for change. Many of you have forgotten that you are not this physical vessel called your body but a spiritual being of the very highest light and frequency. You are angels with a human mask of flesh playing a part that you scripted. This forgetfulness is causing you undue pain my divine beings of grace. Remembering to go within in prayer and meditation and calling upon the Creator and your angels for help is the key to assist you to walk through this time with more ease and grace. When you call upon your angels and the Creator for help you are asking for intervention to realign your coordinates. When things fall away, such as a job, the loss of a home, the passing of someone dear, or the ending of a relationship, pull back from the situation call in the help. Understand and begin seeing these challenges as the Creator calling your name, because these are the changes that are needed within this moment and now in order to bring about the change of your direction that was contracted. The Creator's master blueprint was scripted from many many different contracts along with the universal divine will for the highest good of all and at times it can look very dark unless seen from a much higher frequency and perspective. When you see these circumstances unfold in your lives my beloved step back understand and accept that a higher action is in process, release it to the Creator and your angels. Stop the struggle to hold on to something that has been divine to change. It is the resistance that causes the most pain in your lives my beautiful beings of light. Let it go, release it and allow the Creator to replace the circumstance with something that is in your higher interest. You will find that you will be pleasantly surprised that the change had a blessing tied to it, that you could not see in the eye of the moment. Allow this messenger to take you on a mediation journey. Find a quiet spot where you will not be disturbed for a while. 
you may either sit or lie down whichever is more comfortable for you. Cover your physical self with a light blanket if you chill easily. You want no distractions during your meditation so always make sure the physical vessel is comfortable. If it helps you to visualize by identifying your ego with a symbol or as an object please do so. Direct your ego self to perch on your left shoulder. Instruct your ego self that it is only to be an observer on this journey. In your imagination ask through prayer for the Creator to send you down a protective ray of white light by praying my Creator I am asking for a protective ray of white light to enfold me and lift me up so that I am experiencing the very highest of vibrations during this journey into my innermost depths of understanding and being. I am protecting myself from anything that is not for my highest good on this journey. I am thanking you my Creator for assisting me by sending this ray that is now coming down through the corner of the area where I am meditating. It is entering into this physical form, permeating all that is within this beingness presence, I am. The Creator has answered and has gifted you with an iridescent white ray plus a deep golden ray along with a sparkling clear ray for this journey. The rays are entering into your body through the solace of your feet and moving up through your physical vessel, permeating throughout all of your energy fields into all corners of the area that you are in, then exiting through your crown chakra. The rays are returning to the Creator and cycling back down through you again and back to the Creator in a circular motion. These rays are in a continuous circulating loop while you are in meditation. Visualize yourself through your breath forming a figure 8. The in-breath forms the top loop of the 8 which goes over your head and your out-breath forms the bottom loop that goes under your feet. The middle of the 8 is your waistline and forms the still point between the in-breath and the out-breath. It is forming the sign of infinity and it rhythmically continuing over and over again with each in-breath and out-breath. This is a reminder that you are infinitely guided throughout eternity. You are now divinely protected at this moment and nothing can even communicate with you that is not for your highest good without your permission. Breathe in deeply my divine light beings and feel the lighter relaxed feelings of being divinely guided into this meditation. Breathe in deeply and know that you are breathing to the pulse of the Creator. Listen to the Creator's spiritual heartbeat and feel the unconditional love that courses through you each time you think about this moment. Breathe in deeply allowing and seeing within your spiritual imagination your guardian angels and guides join you and take your etheric hand to direct you into your spiritual heart chakra. At this time invite in all the spiritual guests that you would enjoy having accompany you on this journey. Your guardian angels, spirit guides and special invited guests are now within your spiritual heart chakra. You locate and turn the doorknob of the golden door that says to my highest guidance within you cross over the threshold. You find yourself in a white marble corridor. You notice that towards the elevator there is a small dressing area prepared for you. The angels direct you to go behind the dressing screen and change into the clothes provided there for this journey. You walk around the dressing screen and find a wonderful soft comfy pair of old pajamas and a pair of fuzzy bunny slippers for you to slip into. You remove your clothes that you came in and slip into these comfortable options. You love the old pajamas they are so soft against your skin, nothing binding or scratchy. The smell of fresh clean clothes wafts through your nostrils. You have removed your shoes and put on the slippers. You smile because the bunny faces are so cute. You walk back to where the angels are standing and they too are finding the bunny slippers funny but you love them. You think to yourself when you get back from this journey you will have to put a pair of bunny slippers on your own personal shopping list. They make you feel good and happy inside. They seem to connect to your inner child. Your angels lead you down the hall to the door on your left that is marked healing room. You turn the handle and cross over the threshold. The room is a little dim and you hear very faint soothing music playing in the background. In the center of the room you see a comfortable twin bed with a soft mattress with fluffy pillows and sheets. Above the bed you see a hue beautiful double terminator crystal pointing up and down over the bed. The angels ask you to lie down. You do ask they have requested. You sink into this wonderful bed and feel yourself instantly beginning to calm. You snuggle into the covers and find just the right position. There you begin drifting into a very light relaxed state. The angels are working with the crystal above you. They open the portal above the bed to allow the Creator's grace to more easily access your essence as it beams through the giant crystal. 
the Creator's grace begins to travel through the crystal down into your own fields of grace. You feel a warm sensation and a glow of love and gratitude as the pulsing grace flows over and through you. The frustrations, fears and pain are released with each pulse of the grace beam. You feel yourself being regrouped onto a slightly different path. The angels explain to you that this is a minor adjustment to allow you to release those things which no longer served your highest good. Another way they tell you to look at it is that your own inner, GPS, global positioning system needed a new coordinate alignment because it had become skewed somewhere in the process. You smile because you finally realize that the chaos from outside had warped your perspective for a moment. You needed this little attitude tuning to awaken and broaden your ability to see the larger picture. You remember the outcome has a happy ending with many blessings along the way. It finally dawns on you that the panic you felt was nothing more than your resistance to an ever-changing environment. The angels pass on that if you can remind yourself when you see so many circumstances swirling around you that this is nothing more than the Creator calling your name, just letting you know that these changes were all contracted by all concerned and necessary to write your compass again. You always will be put back on the path with some minor program changes so that you will be able to weather the turmoil with more ease and grace. There will always be change allow yourself to be at peace with it. All is within perfection. You relax even deeper now into the bed and rejoice over the sensations of love and blessings that the Creator's grace brings to your life. You bask in this wonderful grace for another five or so minutes just allowing it to high polish your essence to a brighter shiny light beam that can be seen throughout all of heaven. Your angels indicate that it is time to return. They ask you to step on the frequency scale so that they can record your current frequency reading. This will help them calibrate the crystal for each of your visits. Your markings were a perfect ten the angels tell you. Right on track for the tuning program that was needed within this moment and now. The angels tell you that you may return at any time for further adjustments and refinements now that you realize how beneficial this can be. You hop out of bed and feel ever so much better. The tension is gone the blackness and dullness has faded. You look down at those bunny slippers once more and smile. You walk back across the threshold and follow the angels back up the hall. You instantly find yourself back in the white marble corridor. Change into your clothes once again. Leaving the bunny slippers behind you smile at them once more and walk out. You catch a glimpse of your glowing essence in the mirror before your angels lead you back across the golden threshold door into your spiritual heart chakra and then direct your spiritual essence back into your physical form. Wiggle your fingers and toes and when ready open your eyes. Go about your day remembering that your angelic support staff is always at your service working with you to help you reach your highest most appropriate potential. Beloveds you are blessed beyond words and loved beyond measure more than any earth plane language can ever express. I am Archangel Michael, the Creator's messenger, of love, joy, wisdom, light, peace and grace.